Hey everybody, this is Brian again. Wanted to do a little backyard panorama for you to show the uh, backyard here in the wintertime. So we're in the uh, third week of January. Here's the uh, two lower deck garden boxes. Got quite a bit of this chard that's survived the winter. Even a little bit of the uh, cilantro is coming back already. There's a lot of our bulbs out in the yard that are starting to bloom, which is very strange. A lot of these onions are starting to come back. The garlic chives. Actually, I think these are garlic chives. They seem to have some new growth coming on, as well as this, uh, this broccoli. You can see it's starting to form some heads, which is kind of cool. Paula went and harvested a bunch of the broccoli out of the, uh, the garden box down there. Brought it in. We had that sauteed with some, uh, some beef. See the cabbage heads. She also harvested off a couple of the cabbage heads that were down there from our winter cabbage. You can see the... Uh, I tossed out some of our squash that ended up going, starting to go bad up here on the deck. So that'll be some wild squash we'll let grow. See what we can harvest out of that next spring. If any, it's going to be edible. I cleaned up all the garden boxes for the most part. Took out the tomato cages. Just kind of chopped and dropped everything into the beds. Left those uh, stalks there for the uh, sunflowers because the birds like to perch on those. And dig off any of the remaining seed. Then uh, also the uh, they say to never take those out of your yard. Any kind of sunflower stalks because a lot of the uh, parasitic wasps and stuff. They'll lay their eggs inside of the, uh, the stalk. A lot of the beneficial insects will use that as a home over winter. So what I'll do is I usually just cut them off in the spring, leave the root mass in there to rot, and I'll take that stuff and I'll just kind of spread it up into the, uh, the hillside and let it just rot up there. And as it breaks down, hopefully it became a home over the winter for some uh, beneficial insects. As you can see, everything's pretty wet. We just had a pretty big, good, good downpour. I'm gonna get it while I got some sun here. As you can see over there, there's some uh, some of our bulbs popping up. I took down the uh, trellis here that was used for beans and cucumbers this year. I'm not gonna put anything back there. So I'm gonna leave that open and I'm gonna reseed this with clover. But I will leave these two, you know, trellises there for bean growth and cucumbers again. And I think I'm probably going to take this one out and do something different with that area. Something more of a focal area where we can walk through. And then that's going to be more of a... Uh, I think I'll just have two tomatoes in there this year. And then I'm going to have a bunch of herbs planted down below. Because I've already got the sage. And then I've got the uh, oregano on that end. So I think I might just make that into a, a box full of uh, herbs. And then have something in there. An annual of some sort, like tomato probably. Like I normally do. And you can see up on the hillside, everything kind of just been chopped out, cleaned up a little bit, and uh, let to rot for the uh, coming growing season. So nothing too, uh, too intense. I like to try and be as natural as possible within the backyard. And I'm looking forward to spring to see what uh, we're going to grow this year. All right, well, everybody, that's kind of just a quick view in the uh the backyard here at the urban homestead all right talk to you again bye